In this class, you'll study how to use construction lines in your drawing. Construction lines are endless lines, and they can be used as references for the creation of other objects. For example, you can use construction lines to find the midpoint of a triangle, sketch multiple views of the same item, or create temporary intersections for positioning objects. On the draw panel, there are two tools to help you perform these tasks. The construction line and ray tools. The construction line command places the line anywhere on the workspace. There are several ways to specify the direction. The standard method is to sketch a line from two points. C. Click on any point on the screen to define the angle for the line. See the line is sketched in both directions. Let's sketch them on all points where circles are found in this view. Place them on the circumference midpoint as well as on all the quadrants. See how it looks. There is no end point for these lines, however if you cut off the excess, they become common lines in your drawing, and then it is easier to edit them. Enable the trim command, click enter so that the objects are trimmed, and the excess is removed. We'll leave the center lines from one object to the other. Keep the other lines to display the drill holes on the part. So in this way, you are able to display the lines in the object to achieve added precision in drafting, as they show the points on the created view. Now we can change the center lines to the center layer. This editing box is only available if the Quick Properties option is enabled. After selecting it, you can resize and make it proportional using its grips. There is another command for sketching these types of lines, which also applies the same concept as in the previous example. However, the ray command only sketches the line in one direction. Let's sketch the line in this direction to display the part center line. Use the trim command to trim off the excess line. Stretch the line using the line grips and finish it by defining the correct layer. So in this class you have studied two tools for sketching reference lines in a drawing. Remember, they are editable geometries and serve several purposes in a design, such as sketching new drawings, for example.